how do we work with the jQuery, right? To make this transition for this nav bar, right? So as we're scrolling up and down, actually this background would change, right? So the first thing we would need to obviously go back to a script, right? Not main CSS, actually, but to a script over here. And now you can see that uh, we have been working with Owl and we have been working with a light box, but we would need to add some more script, right? So over here, I'm going to comment this, that this is going to be nav bar transition over here, transition, right? And then after that, we're going to obviously have to write again a document ready, right? For a jQuery, right? So over here, I'm just going to put a dollar sign, right? And I'm going to say this is going to be a document, right? And then I'm going to say this is going to be document ready. And over here, we're going to write a function, right? And over here, we're going to create a code block, right? And here, I'm going to put a semicolon, right? So whatever code we're going to be writing, we're going to be writing within uh, this code block, right? And now, the next thing that we would want to do is actually select a window, right? And we're going to select the whole window object, right? Window. And over here, we're going to add a, an event, right? A scroll event over here like this. And we're going to say this is going to be a function, right? And again, we're going to create some code block, right? And again, I'm going to put a semicolon over here, right? And after that, what I would want to do is create a variable. And I'm going to give it a, a location, right? And I'm going to set it equal to a another dollar sign over here like this. And here we have two options, right? I can write as the same window object, right? But because we're already working with the window object, I can just write a this keyword. And JavaScript is going to know that what I mean is this window object over here, right? And what I want to do is add another event to it. And I want to add a scroll top, right? Over here like this. And I'm just going to put some icon over here. And now I've set this variable. What I can do over here is I can create a if statement, right? And what I can do is if over here, this location, right? Is going to be, let's say, less than 70 pixels. I want something to happen, right? And else, I want something else to happen, right? So first one is if, and the other one is going to be else, right? So else, right? And over here, we're going to write another, uh, another rule, right? Now, what I would want over here, right? Now, I would want actually this one to be to uh, not to have the class that we created, right? Remember, we added a class of transparent, right? We didn't uh, put it anywhere in our code, right? But we have it, right, in our main CSS, right? If we go back over here, you can see the transparent, right, background, right? Now, if we go back over here, to a script, right? What I would want to do is actually uh, select a nav, right? The whole nav with a dollar sign again, right? I'm going to go use it like this over here. And I would want to say remove uh, class, right? Remove tr transparent class, right? So I'm going to root transparent over here like this. Now, the key though is you can see that I haven't added it, right? So within the NELS statement, actually would want to add it, right? So what I'm going to do is copy this one and just paste it. And over here, you can see that instead of removing the class, right, we're going to add the class, right? So we did a little bit backwards, right? But technically, we haven't added this class anywhere in our index HTML, but we are actually doing it with a jQuery, right? And we're actually removing it first, right? If the pixel count is less than 70, and we're actually adding it if it's more than 70, right? And let's see how it works, right? The reason why nothing is happening is you can see that over here I made a mistake, right? So it's add class class, right? So I need to uh, delete that over here. And if we refresh, right? You can see that if I'm going to refresh, that actually as we start moving down, right? It becomes a little bit lighter, right? Now we probably would want to make a couple of changes so we can see it a little bit better, right? And the first one, we could go back to our index.html and change over here instead of navbar inverse, right? We can just write navbar default over here like this. If we save it, right, you can see that this is going to be default. And as I'm scrolling down, 
actually now we're adding this class right now this could be an option right but we probably don't like the fact that we cannot really see our links right so let's go back again to a css right and let's find it where we have over here our nav bar right and maybe instead of default let's just get rid of it all together right and save it again and now you can see that i have a clear uh, menu right and but as i start scrolling down you can see that we added this background class right now if that's not an option for you right we can do do also like this we can have nav bar we can have inverse right so it would be the same thing that we had before right and technically we cannot see as we start scrolling however if we go back to main css and you can see over here with this nav bar class right what we can do is add over here background right and we can say that this is going to be a transparent parent background right so what happens is when we refresh right you can see that my nav bar is going to be transparent but still because we added over here this jquery right you can see that we're adding this class right and again you can check it out the code that we did right that we created first a document ready then we selected a window object right we added a event right and then we just created over here a uh, variable right that was using a scroll top event right and then we set a pretty basic if and else statement <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.